Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Taos S all-wheel drive. This one, this particular one, is deep black pearl. It features 18-inch alloy wheels. Now note here we did actually powder coat these wheels gloss black. They are aluminum alloy silver normally. Uh, it is the same wheel that came on the 2022 with the black wheel package. Uh, just on 2023s, they come as that flat silver finish. And the customer wanted black wheels because we thought well, they were going to be the same as the 2022s. So we powder coated the wheels for them. This one features push button start, heated front seats, a gray and black cloth seat, LED tail lights, turn signals, and reverse lights. It says Taos right here at the base of the license plate bracket. The Volkswagen logo in the center there. Black roof rails, black window surrounds, and black mirror caps. Taos flare right here on the quarter panel. Let's take a look inside. Before we climb in, here's a look at the door panel here. It's this textured uh, gray plastic setup right here. And leather rent on the arm pad right here. Your one touch up, one touch down windows are right here. Heated mirrors as well, power mirrors. And then you have your uh, fuel door release right here. This one already has the Mojo mats installed. They say Taos on them. They're embroidered right there. They're cloth mats. And it's trimmed out in, in cloth, gray cloth on the outside with a contrast stitch here and then black cloth. And this uh, pattern, this cloth pattern right here in the, uh, the, in, uh, the in, in, in seam of the seat. Uh, the bolsters here, light gray in color. Up here at the top, it's a uh, cloth headrest as well. Black in color here with the uh, contrast stitch right there. And before we climb in, here's a look around. Here's a look at the back seats. Car seat hookups are behind those flaps right there. And then this armrest right here, trimmed out in leatherette with a contrast stitch as well. That nice deep pocket right there to store some things in. And as we climb in, this particular one has a convenience package, so it has a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel that's also heated. I'm gonna turn that on, that's gonna feel good. Uh, it's cold today. Piano black finish or gloss black finish across the dash here into the door panel right up to the door handles there on both sides. This pattern here continues across the dash here and this little bar across the middle and over to the other side. And then you do have uh, Volkswagen's digital cockpit. It's now standard on every car. Uh, the fuel gauge is going to be over here to the right. The temperature gauge over here to the left. This is the speedometer screen. Now by hitting the view button right here, I can change between that, the tachometer screen, and this blended screen. On this blended screen, I can use this mouse. This, These buttons here, these five buttons, comprise a mouse here. The left tab, right tab, up, down, and OK in the middle. So I can actually tab over. That changes the left side and arrow down and change what's displayed in there. So I can do gear display, which is what I usually do there. And then hit the right tab over here and do the same on the right side. I can change it to where it says driving data, distance, average speed, telephone, audio. Uh, we'll do driving data. So now I hit OK and now I have driving data over here on this side. Uh, the steering wheel is telescoping so I can pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where I want. Um, and it has the Volkswagen logo right here in the center. And like I said, this is a heated steering wheel on this one. Um, turn signal stock over here. There's a little button on the tip. That brings up lane assist. This one has lane assist as part of that convenience package. Uh, it does have adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, and front assist on it. Uh, it does not have blind spot on this one here due to the chip shortage. There are things that uh, they're deleting and it's the radar sensor delete. So it doesn't have rear cross traffic alert or blind spot, but it has everything else on the safety features. Nice flat dash up here, a little storage bin right here. Lots of visibility out of this car here. Uh, this car being all wheel drive is gonna get about 32 MPGs. Uh, there's a look at the rear there and then over at this side here, back around. Great visibility in the car here. My seat is a manually adjusted seat, so there's a lever right here that I can raise and lower the seat in a pumping fashion. And then back here, I can adjust the seat back, adjust the uh, incline here with that. And then down under my right leg here is the loop to slide the seat forward and back. Over here on this side, 
it's reverse on the passenger seat it's on the left side here and over here on this side there is no handle here this seat is fixed at the height it, it's set at you cannot raise it or lower it but you can adjust it, the in incline or the pitch of the seat over here underneath this finish here the glove box you have your manuals right in there in this little uh, Ziploc bag there's your tire warranties in there this one has a regular rear view mirror with the flip tab right here you do also have up above here a vanity mirror on each side with an incandescent bulb there you have that for both sides here and up above right here here's your car net buttons right here there's your information button your roadside assistance button is the wrench and the emergency services is the SOS Bluetooth speakers are all right there uh, overall this car I like the way the color the splat the swatches of color I'll call them swatches I like how it has a lot of color incorporated into it um, very nice look this one does have an AM FM radio which you can use uh, one of these two USB C's down here these connectors to uh, run Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on this radio here your backup camera it's an HD camera it does not have trajectory steering but it does I mean it does the job it's got the red line to signify where your bumper is the green line signifies straight back and it is an HD camera now for the radio it's AM and FM you do also have App Connect, which allows you to do that Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and MirrorLink that I was talking about with a cord plugged into this guy down here. Um, either one of those will work for uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You do have a phone tray right here to store your phone while it's charging. A 12-volt charger port right here as well. The temperature uh, is controlled by this guy right here. So you can actually uh, turn the dial here to adjust the temperature. Here's your fan speed adjustments here. So you can adjust that way and then you also have your vent setups right here you also have heated seats for both driver and passenger they start out on high then medium then low then off you have that on both sides um, and then your ac button your rear defrost and then your recirculated air and then this also turns the system off so you've got both there and you've got these little louvers here with these haptic clicks you can hear it when you shut it you have it on all four setups here for the vents i'll open those there that little storage bin up there as well let's take a look um, at the key fob here the key fob is a slender key fob here you got three main buttons on it you have unlock uh, trunk unlock and then lock here on the side there's a fourth button uh, that's your panic alarm you probably won't use that one very much but you have that there as well push button start on the car you have stadium seat style cup holders here where one's a little higher than the other that's a that's a plus uh, that way you don't have drinks uh, popping the lids off while you're driving. You do also have a little storage tray for coins right here. Uh, the electronic parking brake or e-brake, you just lift up on to activate. And then you put your foot on the brake and push down to release that. It is all-wheel drive, so it's going to have uh, snow mode. You also have the eco, normal, sport, and custom modes there. And most people are going to go with eco or normal. Now I can also touch this button right here and change that on the screen without getting fingerprints on the screen. Um, I, I carry around like a microfiber cloth to clean off my screen once in a while because it, it needs it. Then you have off-road and off-road custom. Off-road custom, you touch the pencil there, it allows you to tweak things here. Turn things between normal and off-road, all-wheel drive and normal, hill start assist on and off, and steering. You can do normal or sport, um, and then uh, ACC, normal, eco, comfort, or sport. So you've got all of those different settings there. Uh, we'll just do normal. And I'm going to turn this back to the roadway here. So now I'm back to my main screen here. Let's take a look at the back seats. There's a look at those alloy wheels. As I said before, they're normally a flat silver finish. The customer wanted them uh, gloss black. So we actually powder coated the wheels. Here's a look at the back. More of that uh, gray uh, plastic inset right here. But it doesn't have that... that um, the diamond pattern in it it's just regular it's patterned to look like leatherette and then you have leatherette on the arm pad right here uh, one touch up one touch down on a window and you have a, a different color around the door handle here this one comes in at 28 123 the extras on this one include 495 for the driver assistance package 178 for a set of mojo mats a luggage net in the back for 110 bucks and then there is a $450 window credit 
for the radar uh, sensor not being installed uh, for rear traffic alert and blind spot monitor. $12.95 for destination charge, bring you to $28,123. So I'm going to fold this up here. We'll hop in. Here's a look at the back here. We'll move that up there. And this one is already sold. Like I said, so uh, the customer's coming from El Paso, Texas to get this one. Shout out to El Paso. There's a little storage cubby right here. And right here, um, there's another another smaller one. And then down here, there's just a little uh, face plate on the front there. Here's a look up from the back to the front. Your instrument cluster right there, the radio, shifter, armrest right there. And you have a light colored headliner here as well. Uh, and you do have dome lights back here. They're incandescent dome lights in the back. There's a look at the door panel there. More of that that uh, that pattern here. It's kind of like a octagon, almost an octagon or hexagon shape, right there. And then you have your car seat hookups right here behind these little clips. Full down armrest in the middle. Squishy yet firm. No one's going to get hurt with that. And there's also a pass through right there. So the thing about the Taos is it has a lot of room. Even though it's small in size, it's small but mighty. So I have lots of leg room back here. I was just sitting in that seat up front and I easily have five, almost six inches of knee space back here behind the seat where I was just sitting in. So um, you can get, and allegedly I'm a six foot one person. Um, at one point, my doctor told me I shrank. I fired him, got a new doctor. <laughs> so uh, adjustable seat belt clips right here on each side or seat belt, uh, adjustable seat belts, I should say on either side. Um, now vents for back here. There's no vent here. There's vents underneath the seat on the floor on both sides Let's take a look at the trunk There's another look at that alloy wheel right there And as we come to the back here just beneath the VW logo It's a hydraulically assisted uh, lift gate there. It's a manual lift gate Here's a look through from the back to the front the headliner right there These seats are still uh, plate reinforced and they will fold flat so if I can, I can just grab that little lever right there and push down. Same with this guy here and push down and there's your cargo space. A ton of cargo space in this car. Luggage net right here. Underneath the floor right here, here's your spare tire. It's a compact spare. The jack is off to the side right there. We'll fold that back down. Oh, I'm trying to do this with one hand guys. There we go. You have a bag hook off to the side here and there's a, a um, optional uh, cargo cover that you can snap in right here and cover the back here there's a look at the handle for the hatch this car will come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen that's four years 50,000 miles and include two years of free maintenance if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's we give you a third year free maintenance as well now that is a local deal only though so if you buy from me uh, you'll have to redeem that th third year of free maintenance at my dealership so you can make a road trip out of it if I'm close enough. Also, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.